This video in the construction of the mini copter will be sanding the fence, putting an airfoil into the fence. Um, if you haven't already done so, and I kind of started this the last time, um, we're taking the fins out of the balsa sheet. So I'm just cutting the little tabs that are holding them in. Now, the fins are meant to be like this on the rocket. So this will be the trailing edge. This is the leading edge, and this, this is the root edge. The, so when we airfoil these, we round off the leading edge, and then we bring the back edge to a knife edge. So the trailing edge is a knife edge. And I start by rounding the, the front edge. So I got some 220 grit sandpaper. See, I'm just kind of beveling this side. And I'll flip it over, bevel the other side. And now I round off the edge just like that to both sides. So now I got a nice round edge here. Now to do the trailing edge, um, I've got some 150 grit sandpaper on a sanding block. And I don't need my sand glass on. I don't need the <laughs> safety glasses for this. So look at the way I do this. I hold this in my palm of my hand um, and then press down and I'm, I'm working the back edge towards the front. So I start in the back, work towards the front and then work to towards the back again. Flip it over, start at the back edge, work towards the front. Now I'm looking at the back edge to see if I've got a knife edge, and I'm not quite there yet. I'm getting pretty close. It goes really fast with 150 grit sandpaper. Okay, so now I'm gonna go from the tip in a little bit on both sides to, to thin out the tip. You don't have to thin out the tip, but lowers the drag of the rocket and we want this thing to go as high as possible. Okay, so I like that. Now I'm going to test fit it into the slot on my tube. It's a little tight, so now I'm going to sand the whole surface down just slightly. Now I'm going to switch to a finer grit sandpaper. This is 220, but you can also use 400 if you want. This is to make the whole surface smooth. So I'm going to test fit it into the slot. And see now it's a much nicer fit. And you look, I got a little bit of glue in there. Remember, you got to clean those slots out. Okay, so now I've got the slot or the fin done. And I'll just, uh, you can go ahead and do the other two exactly like this. Now I want to seal the surface. And for that, I use super thin super glue. So it's the water thin super glue. I'm going to need a paper towel handy. Wipe off the tip. And I'm going to paint it on using the tip, kind of like a little brush. So I, I didn't do this part here because I need to be able to hold it. I'm going to wipe it off. I'll flip it over so I can still hold it here without gluing my finger to the wood. Paint the other side. And wipe off any excess. And you got to do this pretty quick or it will harden really fast. All right, so now I'm going to just set that aside to dry and I can do my other ones. Um, and then by the time I get back to this one, this is cured enough to where I can hold it without gluing myself. It's a little tacky yet. I'll just put that on there, flip it over, paint that side. 
And I always have a piece of plastic down on the, on the table so I can drop it there um, and it won't stick to the plastic. So I'm going to use the accelerator, kick it off. Okay, so when you do that, now it is, it feels rough again. So now we got to come back and I got the fine grit sandpaper. I'm going to sand it flat, nice and smooth. And use your, your finger, just kind of feel it. And you can feel it, your finger is pretty sensitive to roughness. I'm flipping it over and I'm doing the other side. Okay, so now I need to do the front edge and the back edge. For this, I'm just going to put some just regular sandpaper. I'm just going to lightly sand it. I thought I had some 400 grit. So this is even finer grit. Get that back edge too. All right, ooh, that feels really nice. And then that's going to be glued into there. And for that, I'm going to use thick super glue. I'm going to put it on that fin tab. And then on the front and the back part of the fin. Stick it into the slot. Like that. I'm going to hold it there. And I'm going to check my fin, make sure that I didn't get any glue that's oozing out, and I'll wipe that off. Typically, it kind of runs along the, uh, the, the fin, and I don't like that, so I want to sand that off. All right, and then just double check sight along the tube, make sure it's perpendicular to the tube. And if it is, go ahead and put a fillet of thick super glue on it. that and if it's if it's on lumpy go ahead and wipe it off um, mine actually looks pretty good <clears throat> so I'm just gonna accelerate it and that is how you put the fins on um, and then um, after the, the super glue is hardened you can uh, check your fin fillet, and if it feels rough, just take some sandpaper, get in there with your fingernail, sand it nice and smooth. All right, so you can go ahead and do the other two fins. Uh, that's how you do your fins. It's pretty easy, pretty standard. Uh, and the next step after that, after we get all the fins on, go ahead and connect the uh, shock cord up to the graphite rod with the nose cone and the hub on it.